Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another My Sims video today, or My Sims Agents video. Um, I believe it's the first, fourth episode in the series. Um, and it looks like we have to head up to the hangar at HQ. So we definitely have a lot more missions to go on, and I am very excited. Oh, nice. That must be the Fenergy vent. Oh yes, we are learning how to use our new, uh, there it is, our brand new thing. So we can decorate these areas for our, oh, I thought that would be able to go up there, for our, yeah, our, um, you know, the agents that work under us, and they get more skill values based on what's um, in this area, which is really cool, and you can, like, decorate it and then you can change it based on, you know, what you want them to have. This room makes no sense right now, but it's pretty cool. It's just teaching us how to do that. You can decorate on every floor except the lobby, and it boosts the skills. So, now that we have learned how to use that, we're going to head on back downstairs to the lobby. Hey Jenny, any messages? Oh yeah, listen to some of these. Jenny's fan fiction has become the impossible better than the source material. Jenny's writing material is a, mist a must read for Star Cruiser X fans. I meant any messages from me. Listen, we we stand Jenny. Pop off Jenny. <laughs> you you go, okay? Follow your dreams. Oh. Yeah, just one. A Mr. Paul DiYeti called and told you to find his old college roommate. Paul DiYeti? Do you have the full message? Of course. I'm not totally worthless, you know? <laughs> no, you're not worthless at all, Jenny. Hey, Tatiana. Sorry I couldn't remember more about my past life, but I thought of someone who would. Back in grade school, I shared a room with a man named Dr. Er, Mr. F., Mr. F. Last I heard, he was going to open a lab somewhere in the city. Thanks, Jenny. That's very helpful. Also, your secretary was very professional, and I would totally give her the rest of the day off to update her blog. Your friend, Pete. It's Paul. Nice try, though. <laughs> a. You gotta respect her for trying. Hey, guys. If you were going to open a lab in the city, where would you build it? question, would a sky fortress still count as being in the city? I think it would. It would not. Okay, I actually think it would. <laughs> in that case, I do not know. I would build it over the industrial district. Getting permission to run experiments anywhere else wouldn't be easy. Good thinking. We should take the train over to the industrial district and check it out. One of my, probably my most favorite character in all of the My Sims, and even actually I heard this character is in The Sims 4 as like a, a neighbor, we're about to meet them. I should be able to take the train to the industrial district. Alright, let's go. Okay, not Yuki just, okay, like that's not, that is very, that's not inconspicuous. Okay, we can see you. Wow, this train ride is so long. I bet I'll be dark. It'll be dark by the time we get here. There. Good thing I brought this bacon and tomato sandwich. Whoa, you got two. Where did he get that from? <laughs> Yo, it's the. Well, our scientist, Mister F, must be around here somewhere. He should. How should we start our search, buddy? Well, usually if we wait long enough, someone just starts screaming. <laughs> Buddy is truly not wrong. Then we go investigate that. <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> Gabby, you slimy double-crossing no-good swindler. Bingo, let's go check it out. <laughs> it's funny. Yo, what is this? Alright guys, what's the problem? 
Name's Gabby. Someone's been stealing my junk. That's your problem? Stolen junk? Here's a real problem. This crazy old coot so sold me a broken boat. Boat ain't broke, Barney. It's missing parts. But the parts you got ain't broke. <laughs> it's in the middle of the junkyard and it won't even run. What good is it to me? You could go sit in it and close the door. That do me a world of good. <laughs> Don't mind him. Listen, little things gone missing from the junkyard before. No big deal. Yesterday, though, someone swiped a whole engine out of my car. I was going to use it for spare parts. I wonder if someone else needed the parts. Maybe Mr. F could be involved. Gabby, you probably just moved the engine and now you can't remember where. Nope, Gabby's mind is still sharp. Someone was sneaking around here last night and now I'm fixing to find out who. I might be able to help with that. Alright, we have a m mysterious, suspicious person. I'll need to find who was at the scene of the crime, so I'll start investigating there first. Alright. A puppy! Oh, <laughs> it's an angry puppy with a beard. Good boy! Woof. Why are you barking at this? An old gas pump still smells like gasoline. Hmm, a energy bubble there. This must be... Yep, it looks like this car's engine is missing. Someone pulled it right out. The car engine is definitely gone, and it couldn't have left on its own. Can I find footprints? That was my first thing is always to pull out the magnifying glass. Oh, what's this? Must be oil from the stolen car engine. The footprints end. If I find evidence that someone besides Gabby was in the junkyard, I'll know whose they were are. Oh. Is that it? They just stop right there? Hmm. Alright, I think they just stop there. Let's use the Fenergy. Whoops. Let's see if we can get up there. Oh, a chest. I think we have like cosmetics are usually in there. Some fun decorative pa paints for the HQ. Nice. Gabby must put some of his junkyard items in here. Okay, no footprints. No footprints there. The dog is trying to get in that crate. Definitely something suspicious going on. Um, any idea who could be in your junkyard? Well, no one really goes in there except me. You could look around in there if you can find anything. Okay, I can't ask about the footprint. Oh, you know, I fix things up, sell them, stuff like that. Nothing too big. Okay. Gabby's file cabinet. This must be where he keeps his important things. <laughs> I love how it's just out. Okay. Here, maybe I missed something. The footprints end. If I find evidence that someone besides Gabby was in the junkyard, I'll know who's they are. Oh, okay, so we're looking for evidence someone else has been in here. The seedling really seems out of place in this junkyard. Where did it come from? Who planted these seeds near the footprints? Are there any seed containers? Are there footprints here? Oh, there are. There we go. So we'll have to find out about the seeds. And these footprints, they stop there. Whoops. Oh, 
I just did this jump. Oh, I guess I can't jump there. Oh, am I stuck? No, we're good, we're good. Hmm. So we have some suspicious footprints that lead from over there. Let's, whoa. Um, more cubus. What is this? What are you up to here? We're representing Morgue Corp and the Morgue Green Project, making your world a better place. Do they have something to do with the seeds? We're enriching why we're why enriching the environment with beautiful plants, part of the Morgue Green Initiative. The Morgue girls must keep their things in here. Alright, they're planning stuff. Planting things. But why would they want to plant something over here? That is strange indeed. What is this? Rusty lawnmower? I definitely think we need to be... getting up here somehow. Oh, I think I like fell really hard. Hmm, okay, let's go around. I thought I could go around. Definitely some stuff going on over there. Oh, can we open that? There we go. Oh, cool. A vest with tattoos and urban halter top. <laughs> nice. Is there any... Footprints up here. None that I can see. But this looks super suspicious. <laughs> like, tell me this doesn't look suspicious. Looks like this door needs a password to enter. I'll have to keep this place in mind for later. Okay. So the foot footprints seem to come from this area. I kind of want to get on this boat because there's a chest for us. Yo, what's that thing in the corner? Oh, cool. Okay, more stuff we can use. Whoa, a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of more furniture we can use. What's this thing? Yo, something is suspicious. Alright, let's check this box. Looks like Brandy and Yzma have some plant seeds in this box. Oh, Brandy and Isma planted seeds in the junkyard, which means they had an opportunity to steal the engine. Okay, suspicious. Isma's plants were in the junkyard. What does she have to say about that? Now I know at least one person was in the junkyard. I'll check with, with Gabby to see what he thinks. Okay, let's find out what. why were you your plants in Gabby's junkyard? Why, for the official Marku Corp beautification project, of course. Well, your footprints go right by Gabby's missing engine, which was stolen last night. We planted those seedlings weeks ago. It takes time for plants to sprout, fool. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, this is true. You couldn't have planted them last night. Thank you, Yzma. It seems Yzma and Brandy have a good alibi. The junkyard footprints aren't theirs. <laughs> you fool. Plants take weeks. So funny. I found some footprints in the junkyard. Gabby knew he was hoodwinked. Did you find the engine and the car remote? I'm still looking for the engine, but car remote? What car remote? Yep, to open the hood, you need the remote. So I reckon the vermin... Uh, the vermin took that too. It's usually in the green cabinet over in Gabby's shack. Did the thief really take the car remote from Gabby's cabinet? I should check. I'm assuming it's this cabinet we saw. Although Gabby keeps it locked, this isn't the most secure spot to secure his valuables. See, that's what I said. It's kind of like out in the open. It's kind of out in the open is what I was thinking. Gabby's cabinet is locked. I'll need to pick the lock to find out if the thief took the car remote. Cool. I want to learn how to pick locks. Select the question bottom. 
question button at the bottom. Haven't we done this already? I feel like we have. Oh, whoops. I feel like we have for sure picked one already. There we go. Nice. The remote control's right here. Whoever opened the car hood must have forced it open some other way. Is it possible to for force open the hood of the car without the remote? I'll close it and find out. Let's unequip my thing. Alright. Let's see. Close the hood. Okay, now if I give it a good shake with my F-space manipulator, I can try to open it. Sounds like something Doofenshmirtz made. The F-space manipulator. Alright, let's see. That's a sturdy hood. No human would be strong enough to open that. Maybe it wasn't a human. Only someone incredibly strong could have opened the hood without the remote. Okay, suspicious. No human could have opened the car hood, so who is in the junkyard? Are there other witnesses? Alright, let's see. Someone had to have seen something. The dog. Grit, you would have seen who was in the junkyard. Arf, arf. Why do you have oil on your teeth? Did you bite something? <gasps> That's why there's oil stains. Did Grit have an encounter with something oily? What kind of oil is on the ground anyway? I'll walk over and analyze it. Maybe Roxy can tell me. All right, let's analyze this. I thought this oil was from the car engine, but it might be something else entirely. Suspicious. All right, let's analyze it. I am um, used to be good at these when I was a child. <laughs> I've noticed now that I'm older, these are actually like way harder for me to do. I don't know why. Okay, as I did this one easy. Okay, the last episode I had some issues. <laughs> this one wasn't that bad. This oil compound is too advanced for a car. It looks like it came from some sort of robot. It's a robot. Probably belongs to that mansion thing we saw. A robot would have been able to force open the hood, and that oil trail goes into the shipping container. Alright. Looks like it's locked. Alright. Let's pick the lock. Okay, what do we have here? Whoop. And grab it. It makes me stress it's counting, like, over here. It makes me feel like if it gets higher than, like, I don't know. There's, like, a threshold where it should be. Alright. Who, now who or what had the, that encounter with the grit earlier? Or with grit? My bad. Can't even read tonight. Now I should be able to open it with that. Oh, okay. Now we have to shake it open. Makes sense. Okay, let's see what's in there. Because Grit is barking at it. Oh, I love this character so much. Hey, who are you? And why are you in here? You ask a lot of questions. Huh, I'm Tobor. I jumped in here after sustaining some dog-related damage. I see. So those were your footprints in the junkyard before you hopped in here. You stole the engine? Yes, under the orders of my master. His name is Ur Error. Looks like you need some repairs before I can interrogate you. Tobor needs to be fixed so he can tell me who his master is. I'll need some spare parts. Do I already have some? Okay, we need ten. And here is the engine. Alright, let's go grab some spare parts. Uh, which one do we use for that again? Is it the techno tool? I forgot. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. I love how we're also now technically stealing <laughs> from the junkyard. But it's okay. Gabby won't know. Was that a purse? I feel like I just pulled a purse out of there. Can we t can we take from their car outside? I feel like we should definitely be able to do that. Oh, 
we can't. I don't know of any more. Is there anything over here? Oh. Okay, apparently we can't take from there. Okay. There's a lot of, like, junk around. Should be able to get enough. There we go. Okay, five, halfway. I um, guess that car has nothing in it. Um, I think this, yeah. That's an electronic. Um, can we take from the boat? No. We can take from this thing. Nice. That worked out. Okay, we only need a couple more. Um. Hmm. We need more electronic things. Okay, there's nothing else here. That goes away. We only need three more. Oh, I can't salvage from this. Oh, it just didn't pop up before. Okay, two more parts. There we go. Only need one more. Oh, we can take from this thing. Cool. Oh, there's a chest up there. I just saw it. Okay, awesome. Now that I have all the parts, I can repair Tobor and find out who ordered him to steal Gabby's engine. Well, let's go. I kind of want to get on this. Yo! I just saw that chest up there. Okay, mechanical bull. Okay, we have more, more patterns, more stuff to decorate. Oh, whoops. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. My back's fine. All right, let's go repair Tobor. Hey, Tobor. Maybe we go from this way. Maybe it works out better that way. Oh, no. I can't. It literally can't go that way. Okay. It literally can't. The parts are like not the right size. Alright, so now... Can this one... I feel like we're kind of stuck with So this one kind of has to be the one that goes here. Hmm. You know what? We don't even really have to have this one move, do we? I literally just do this. <laughs> We didn't need the long one. The long one threw me off. We just needed to get the two red ones moving. Anyway, hopefully Tor Tobor can remember what I need to ask him now. He's moving a lot more. You're all fixed. <clears throat> You're all fixed. So who is your master? My master is Dr. F, 
who owns the lab on top of the hill. I'll need to go talk with this Dr. F. I've been looking for him. You'll have to go enter the passcode. It's 01000110. Tobor says that the person who ordered him to steal this, the engine is Dr. F up in the lab. So Dr. F is stealing from the junkyard, which doesn't surprise me. I found the engine and the password to Dr. F's lab, but before I go, I should check in with Gabby. Is it stolen if it's still on the property? No, I'm just joking. It is stolen. It is stolen. All right. I know who stole your engine. You did? Who? Or I think I said I found out. Sorry, I didn't read it all the way. The scientist on the hill, Dr. F, ordered a robot to steal it. Right now, it's sitting in that cargo container. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, Gabby will have to get around to moving it sometime. And I'd better head up to the hill. I'd better head up the hill to the lab to have a word with the good doctor. We got new dispatch missions. I totally forgot to send them on dispatch missions when we left. Oh, the last one was successful. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we can do it from here. My bad. We'll have to do it next time. I completely forgot to send our team on missions while we're here. Alright, let's go meet, uh, the scientist. Yo, look at it. Look at this. I'll enter in the password I got from Tobor. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> Yay, I love these characters, but this isn't my favorite one yet. Hmm, looks like we have guests. <laughs> oh, he's just laughing in the corner like that's what he does in his pastime. You there, are you delivering more squirrels? <laughs> no? Then you are welcome here. <laughs> How can we help you find humans? Um, are you Mr. F? Mr. F is my father's name. I am the incompar incomparable Dr. F. Can I assume that you're not a medical doctor? You can. He holds PhDs in robot robotology and robotonomy. <laughs> what is he doing in body? You there. You have a magnificent skull. I must study you. Actually, we just have a few questions. Give me your skull. <laughs> Maybe when he's done with it, Dr. F. We're on a pretty tight schedule here, guys. So what's up your questions? We were sent here by your old roommate, Paul. Paul was a wonderful man and a dear friend. Whatever happened to him? He turned into a yeti. Good for him. <laughs> We suspect that Marcubus is trying to reproduce some of Paul's research. Paul thought he might be able to help us stop him. Or thought you might be able to help us stop him. What research? Something called the Crown of Nightmares. I don't know if I'm going to say this name because I feel like for some of you, it might call your, your special assistant, you know what I'm saying? So I'll just say Alex because I, if I feel like if I say the name and you're playing this out loud, you might, you know, we don't want to do that. Alex, call all of my experiments. Cancel all of my experiments immediately. What? But our schedule. Crackers to your schedule. This is science of the most serious kind. Paul told me about that research. It inspired my own pursuit of the mad sciences. Do you know how, do you know much about the cra nightmare crown? Only that Morcubus shouldn't have it. But if he's trying to create his own, he would have to fabricate both parts. There's two parts of the crown. Indeed, the crown itself is very important, but it's powered by an extremely rare crystal. If Marcubus wants to manufacture something like that, he'll need a ton of raw resources. That assistant is correct. <laughs> Running a project like that would have to leave clues. 
Search the area and let me know if you see anything that ties Marcubus to heavy machinery or natural resources. Bro, did we not just see that Marcucorp is doing some planting of, of things? If you can find clues about Marcubus activities, we might be able to tell you what he's really up to. We'll look for more cases in the industrial district and get back to you. Wait, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> Zelda reference. What's this? It's your old magnifying glass mixed with the awesome flavor of technology. I call it the detector because of all the things it can detect. <laughs> Makes sense. Thanks. Yay, we got upgraded tools all around. Go forth now for science. Alright, I love their lab. It's super cool in there. The outside does not do the inside justice. I will say that. 